Today's devotion is going to be taken from Jonah chapter 3, the entire chapter. So if you haven't had a chance to read that yet, read that now and then continue on with the devotion. There's a saying that exists in basketball, but it applies to a lot of different contexts. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. The phrase is meant to get rid of a sort of tentativeness that might be holding you back. You see, the fear of failure can be a very strong deterrent. And sometimes it stops us from doing things that are good for us, and it stops us from doing things that are good for others. Jonah's a good example of that. Jonah was scared of the Ninevites. He did not think the Ninevites would repent of their sin and turn to God. And there was a large part of him that, that didn't want them to. The Ninevites had a reputation of being a nasty, mean, and brutal people. Yet as we see in, in Jonah chapter 3, Jonah preached to the Ninevites. He went throughout the city and the Ninevites repented. They genuinely felt sorry for their sins and repented of those sins before God. They had visible signs of repentance by putting on sackcloth and ashes. It's not exactly what Jonah was expecting. But this was God's work. God worked in the hearts of the Ninevites. His work in their hearts led them to repent. God's work saved them. Are there people in your life that you have written off? Maybe they didn't quite seem like churchy people, like the church type. Maybe they have said things or done things that have, have caused you to rule out the possibility of repentance for them. But I want you to think about Jonah. If Jonah would not have gone to Nineveh and delivered the message to the Ninevites, they would not have had the opportunity to repent. Here's the point. God's grace is so big that it can work in the hearts of the people that you may have written off. The vilest criminal or your worst enemy, it doesn't matter. God's grace is big. And if you need proof of that, look in your own heart. God's grace is so big that it worked in your heart to lead you to repent. God didn't write you off, but he saved you and he continues to work in your heart. Brothers and sisters, take comfort in this. Rest in this. And stay close to where he works. Stay close to him in his word. And stay close to, to the proclamation of his word at church. Because there is where we see the big grace of God that works in hearts, leads them to repentance, and leads them to salvation.